Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Game Set Live. Today, I mean, do I even have to really explain what we're looking at? I mean, just, just look right here. Look, look at it. It's amazing. Of course, as you can tell by the title, we are looking at the Sith art. And because it's a weird number sequence, I'm going to take a cheat, uh, a, a peek. Uh, we're looking at number, set number 31200, the Sith. Lego has started an awesome new mural art style where they have the studs uh, in a square outline and for the star wars sith art i thought it was really cool they had a if you buy three of them you can put it together to make an awesome darth vader mural and it is tall it's about 46 inches tall a <laughs> way bigger than i thought it would be of course the scale of vader's head you can tell it's bigger than my head it's bigger than one to one scale which is honestly crazy well i i had bought one of them and i thought eh I'll just buy one. That'll be enough. And then I saw a YouTuber uh, doing a live stream of him putting together the the full Darth Vader set, right as we see here. And I I just had to buy it. It was amazing. So of course, like I said, this is uh, set number th what three one two hundred. Set number three one two hundred. Each set has thirty four hundred and six pieces. Of course, uh, for the set itself, you can build the Darth Vader, the Darth Maul or the Kylo Ren and I'm a little disappointed that Disney included Kylo Ren or L Lego included Kylo Ren because he's not actually a Sith so I thought that didn't completely make sense so I probably wouldn't have built him anyways but they do include Kylo he is known for the sequel he's the big baddie or not the big he's one the bad guy with the lightsaber in the sequels so you know they included him here but he's not actually a Sith let's just get that straight Regardless, if you do want to pick up this large Darth Vader, Darth Vader mural set, you will, of course, have to buy all three. Uh, they do retail for $119.99. You can find them on eBay for anywhere between $100 and $110. Maybe if you scour, you can find them a little cheaper. But as of now, you, you'll probably be stuck paying around retail price. And as this set gets retired, close to retirement, low on stock on Lego store, as which is where it's at right now, you may have a tough time finding this in the days and months and till retirement to come. That being said, uh, let's talk a little bit about the build itself. So this build took about nine hours, I want to say, eight and a half to nine hours is about uh, 20 minutes per square. If you've seen this set, you know, they, they have 16 by 16 stud squares that you build the studs into, and then you connect them together with Technic pieces, which I thought it was a cool build. Uh, it's really wobbly. You really can't hold it very effectively when you're putting the, the build together on its own, but they do have a very strong way of securing the border and if you are going to pick this up and carry it around, you do not want to hold it by just the sides and let the weight carry it out. You mainly want to pick it up like this. It's pretty light, maybe about three, four pounds, I'd say, maybe five pounds. It's it's not a heavy, heavy machinery, as some would say, but it, it is a little wobbly, as you can see. That's kind of the wobbles of it. Uh, they're, the only support piece is the Technic pieces within the border and within the set itself and then the border that goes around the edge. But other than that, it is going to be wobbly. As long as you don't put that weight and stress on it, you'll be fine. This is what the back looks like. And these pieces right here are simply just to keep it off the wall. Um, they don't. They don't add any structural integrity to the build but they, they keep it off the wall same with these uh these red pieces right here there are also two pieces for hanging for nails if you want to hang this on your wall which i feel like is the best way to display this because you don't have to worry about it bending or wobbling as you can see there but as we get closer close to the build i I really want to give you guys a good up close look at this. And I did some quick math before this video. There are about 6,912 studs on this set, which is a thinking about it, it's a lot of studs that I had to put on this set. But the coloring of this set, the detail of the light coming off his lightsaber, transforming to the dark side, transitioning to the dark side of his helmet, going down, uh, to his respirator, respirators, and then also his his chest piece going down to his chest plate with all the buttons on it, and then his 
arm across holding the lightsaber. The detail on this set is absolutely immaculate. And of course, with this set, you do get uh, the Star Wars plate on the bottom right. And since you bought three, you do have three, actually, three Star Wars plates, which is pretty cool. I'll definitely keep those handy. And uh, I did want to bring up, actually, when you buy the whole set, you do actually get a ton of extra pieces. So I actually have those back here. So this is extra border pieces, extra studs. These are all open bags, but these are extra studs. And then you have all these unopened bags of studs. So these are just unopened, probably will never use them, but it's really kind of cool to keep them in the bags. They might come in handy later, you never know. So uh, also, do you have the brick separators? These brick, se brick separators are a little different than what we've seen in the past, mainly because you want to be able to uh, take up a bunch of studs at, its, at once, or you can take off four studs at a time. And I believe this also helps you take apart the border as well. That being said, this set, like I said before and showed you before, it's amazing. There's just so much detail that goes into this set. And I think this set really is on par with the... Imperial Star Destroyer with the Millennium Falcon with those larger UCS sets because after all you have to spend excuse me you have to spend $120 to on one to get this so that times three now $360 plus tax and it's it's truly remarkable truly deserves that UCS price tag honestly when you look at it the size of it obviously sitting next to me it's huge here I'll, I'll pick it up and show you it right next to my head so you can just see how big he's literally bigger than my head and i honestly i can't see it right now because it's a recording but when i look back at this video i know i'm going to be just as surprised as you guys are about how big darth vader is right here and it's definitely a centerpiece i know as soon as someone walks into my house they're gonna it's going to catch their eye and they're going to want to take a closer look because it's just that beautiful of a set. Now, as we move on to the time-lapse build, I think this is going to be a really cool time-lapse build. So I hope you guys will stay around uh, for the whole build. And you can really see the individual 16 by 16 plates that come with it. And then also at the end, the border. So with those plates, you, you start at the top, you work your way down. And actually, another thing that I was wondering as I as I built this is... Can you just buy two out of the three? What if you just want to buy two and you don't want to buy the third one, save 120 bucks, 130 bucks? Is that possible? And actually for this set, it's not perfectly possible. I think you do have enough border pieces for sure, but you do not have enough studs actually to meet the requirements per the instruction manual. So with that being said, you probably can fake it with some pieces, but you cannot actually you can't actually use the instruction given pieces to create this set. So, but if you want to save 100, 120 bucks and you think it's cool to have the top half, which is the top third, they're split up into thirds, then I honestly think you could do it. You could you could easily make it work with the studs that they give you. So that's definitely an option if you're looking to save 120 bucks, but you still want to have this awesome Darth Vader piece. And as we keep moving through this time lapse, it's definitely not the kind of build that you will want to not have anything going on. Some other builds, whether it's the AT-AT Walker, uh, the TIE Fighter, the Falcon, you can get away with not having something playing but for this one i tried it for about five minutes on the last third of it and i am not gonna lie i got pretty bored so i had to turn some star wars back on as i always uh watch some star wars when i'm building my lego sets but definitely recommend you to either listen to music watch your favorite show watch ideally some star wars is it you know very fitting but definitely not the kind of uh, star wars build you're going to want to do without any media to enjoy so that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy this review of the Sith art, the full Darth Vader mural. One of my favorite sets, honestly, in my collections. Definitely is a standout piece. Looks beautiful. Looks amazing. If you have the, the cash and you think this is something that you might like, you definitely will love it. I I do not doubt that. I, I find myself looking at it throughout the day. It's just beautiful. And 
you won't regret it. I guarantee you that if this is something that you want and you have the the funds to pay for it, you will not regret it. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you check out some of some of uh, my other Lego reviews. Also have some Battlefront 2 videos, other video games, uh, Call of Duty that we that I've been working on. So I hope you check out those videos. Once again, thanks for watching, guys, and remember to keep it live.